Bum ba da ba bum ba da ba 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 bum bum bum. Welcome back, my friend, to BTJ Brick Quick. My name is Byron. This is your quick jujitsu podcast. This week, I'm answering the question: Why is Brazilian jiu-jitsu difficult? <laughs> I combine my jiu-jitsu with difficult. Why is Brazilian jiu-jitsu so difficult for new people? I want you to think about this a little bit. If you're not a new person, you could look at your new training partners, your new teammates, and think, you know, maybe they're dealing with this problem today. If you're wanting to bring somebody into the jiu-jitsu world and they're new, because that's what that would mean, (laughs) they're going to encounter some of these hurdles. So even if you're not new, Keep your eyes peeled for these. They're tough on people. Yesterday I talked about how new people are fighting instead of rolling. That's a big one. Today, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is an ego crusher. If you're very much involved in like reading Jiu-Jitsu quotes or things like that, like your your ego is not your amigo. You know, if you leave your amigo, your amigo at the door, leave your ego at the door when you come into the mats. I remember being new at Jiu Jitsu. And I remember it was difficult. And I remember getting tapped out by people who I didn't think could tap somebody out, you know, like, like, like me. I'm I'm pretty good. I'm a tough guy. You know, I'm really wasn't that tough. But but you have an idea of what you could do, and it's wrong. It's tough mentally to deal with that. Jujitsu is an ego killer. And I it is at the beginning. Then it'll help you. <laughs> it'll give you more confidence. It'll it'll let you kind of understand where things would go if, if you got in a physical altercation. I can't picture too many times in my life I've been pushed around by a 250-pound uh, person and not been on the mats. <laughs> but when I'm, if I need to size up somebody and like, man, this guy's looking pretty angry, okay, he's about this person's size. Now, granted, that person, you know, that I have in mind is a skilled, maybe purple belt or something like that, but like, I understand how strong their hands are going to be, how strong they're going to be able to push me, how I'm going to how I'm going to get moved instead of moving them. After a while, that you get you get confidence from jujitsu, but at the beginning, <laughs> I think we always tend to walk in to jujitsu thinking that we'll be pretty good at it. I don't know why people feel like they they're going to be good at something that they're brand new at. But that's how many people start. And then they realize they're not good at it. Not only are they not good at it, they have no idea what they should be doing. It's like, think about basketball. Like, okay, you know, the goal is to get the ball into the hoop. (laughs) Pretty simple. Not simple at all. But you you know, like, oh, at least I could just chuck the ball in that direction and maybe it'll go in. If I'm putting you in a Uma Plata, do you know what you should be doing? No. Not unless you've learned what to do. <laughs> You'll probably do the wrong thing if you're just making this up. Many, many p- things and situations, what feels like is the right thing to do is the wrong thing to do. That's why we have to train and learn and, and get coaching. I think this is a bigger problem with with not just guys, but the bigger guys. The guys who, who walk around in the gym in the weight room and they, they, they're all ripped up. I'm not talking about like their shorts or their shirts, although sometimes their shirts are ripped up. Like they're, they're very muscular guys. They, just imagine... Go to the gym every day for years. Look in the mirror for years at the strong, you know, force of a person. 
then come into jiu-jitsu and get tapped out repeatedly <laughs> by somebody who hadn't even hit high school yet, who hasn't even touched the weights. Usually those people go home and they stop coming back. They go back to the gym and they think they're, and they, then they want to look tough. They may realize that they're not as tough as they thought they were. It takes a very special person to come in there, get that beating, and come right back the next day. <clears throat> That's impressive. If you're new to Jiu-Jitsu, I've got an audio book for you, your first year of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. BJJBrick.com. Check out the shop there. That's where it'll be. The money goes and helps support the podcast. Hope you have a great day, my friend, and stay sweaty.